Whichever country I can win the World Cup with first, I'll watch them live. I think I'm going to start this with England. Our first World Cup run will be with them. That's right. If we can win the World Cup with England, I'll have to travel all the way to Qatar and watch England live. But remember, we've only got one attempt to win it with England. Otherwise, we're going to have to do it with a different nation. Okay, that's the England team. Phil Foden starting and we're going to have to keep it that way. I can't lie. I prefer Jude Bellingham in the starting 11 too. But that's it. That's going to be my team. Let's see if it's coming home and will I be needing tickets for a potential England game at the World Cup? Won't lie, England's group's pretty easy. They need to top this. England, Iran, ends in a two-all draw. Bro, what? Yo, are you kidding me? Well, it might not be coming home at this rate. Gotta win this next game against the USA. If we don't, we've got problems. So, let's see what happens here. There you go. Phil Foden. See, Gareth Southgate's a bit of a fraud. He doesn't know what he's doing. Foden starts scores and that should put us in a good spot and I, I probably should start looking for tickets, man, because it's coming home. Final group stage game against Wales. Let's not mess this up. And what? Bro, you're kidding me. Has Wales just knocked out England of the World Cup? No. What's happened here? Oh my god. We survived. Bro, I might not need tickets for an England game. We might need tickets to a Welsh game because my god, we just about survived the group. Are England so bad? Okay, this is bad because we finished second in our group. We've got Netherlands. Hopefully our World Cup journey will not end here. We've got the team to knock out the Dutchman, and we just about do. Oh my days. And off we go to face Argentina in the quarterfinals. Bro, this is literally a rematch of England versus Argentina from 86. Oh my god. Wait a minute, guys. They're not starting Leo Messi for this game. This this looks good, but they beat us on penalties. No. It went to sudden death as well. Like the most insane penalty shootout ever. Bro, what even? Maguire missed the pen. That's it. We've been knocked out so well. We're not going to Qatar to watch England. It's gonna have to be another country. Okay, we can't use England now. Which country should I try this out with? Um, I'm thinking Spain. Or maybe Germany. But Germany have been so bad lately. I don't think I can win the World Cup with Germany. Belgium are like the dark horses, but they're also a bit meh. Yo, let's do it with Brazil and get this done with. I wanna see Brazil at the World Cup. This would be a great chance. Win the World Cup with Brazil? Watch them live. Their team is absolutely cracked. Like, bro, what even is this? It's literally insane. Like, only issue with their squad is like their fullbacks, but like, come on. Look at the bench and everything they've got. It is surreal. The group as well, we should be able to top it. Let's let's get our tickets ready for the World Cup. Boom, we start easy. off with an easy dub against Serbia. 4-1. No, we just lost 3-1 to Switzerland. That is a big surprise. What's the group gonna look like now? No, Switzerland might end up topping it. Okay, then let's try try and beat Cameroon in this final, like, please? Well, it's not really a final, but it is kind of for- What? No. No. Have Brazil just been knocked out of the World Cup in the group stages? Unbelievable. How have I done this? I really might be a finished manager, boys. What What has just happened? Bruh, this was one of the teams I thought I could win the World Cup with, enjoy watching in real life in Qatar, but now we can't do this with Brazil. Guys, I was seriously looking at ticket prices for Brazil games, and then we end up getting knocked out by them and I can't watch them live. What an L I've taken. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna go with Spain. They're, they're looking good. Luis Enrique is a great coach. They've got some great players. I reckon Spain can win this and we can watch them live. Bro, that Spain team, Alvaro Morata, I feel is a bit of an L. But apart from that, it's so good. Yo, I'm putting Gavi in that starting 11 for sure. Dani Olmo can play on the right side. We'll, we'll, we'll just move them around. Ferran can play on the right. Perfect. Bro, they've got such a well-balanced team. And most importantly, such a great coach. By the way, Luis Enrique these days has been streaming on Twitch and everything. It's hella entertaining. Like, yeah, fair play. That's the Spain group that Germany game is going to be interesting. Let's see if we can win the World Cup with them. Okay, first game, Costa Rica. Let's just get a dub and get the nerves out of the way. Bro, what is my luck right now? I want to watch Spain. Okay, it's this Germany game. Because of the draw, we need to now win this somehow. Please. It's another nil-nil draw. What is happening here? Costa Rica are topping this group right now. Like, what? We got grouped with Brazil. Surely that's not happening with Spain. Let's beat Japan. Get this out of the way and get into the knockouts. There you go. Surely we're making the knockouts 
knockouts now. And we've topped the group just about, though. Let's go. Okay, I like this. We're up against Morocco in the round of 16. All right, let's get this one out of the way. We've got the team to knock Morocco out, and that's exactly what we've done. I should be getting ready to book tickets for a Spain game in Qatar. Come on now. Oh, no. Our next World Cup game, though, is going to be against Portugal. They knocked out Brazil. Bro, I am nervous for that. We need to ruin Cristiano Ronaldo's dream to make it to the next round of the World Cup. Can we do that? Semi-finals? Yes, we can. Took to extra time, but I think Spain is going to be the country that we'll be watching in real life. We need to just beat Senegal. Oh, bro. Netherlands, Uruguay in the other round. This has been the World Cup of upsets. Let's get this done. We end up beating Senegal as well in the semi-finals. We're off to a World Cup final. We win that game, and I'm booking my flights to Qatar. Who are we going to be facing, though? Is it Netherlands or Uruguay? No way. It's a rematch of the 2010 World Cup final. How cool is that? Who's going to win the World Cup? No, no, no. No. I was almost ready to book my tickets. No. Netherlands beat us in the World Cup final. I was ready to see Pedri, Ansu Fati, and everyone in action, but we lost on pens. This is brutal. This is absolutely brutal. No way, man. We've tried this with England, with Brazil, with Spain. We can't win the World Cup. Who do we try this with next? You know what? Portugal have never won the World Cup. Ronaldo's last World Cup. Similar story to Messi. Let's give this a go. Honestly, I don't even know if I want them to win because I'm a Messi fan and I don't want to be watching Ronaldo at the World Cup suing right in front of me. But we'll try it with them. The Portugal team is very good, guys. Like, absolutely. I think what I'm going to do is have Bernardo Silva in midfield and we can play like Ja Felix in the attack. Let's just go crazy with the attack. Also, I want Nuno Mendes at the back too. Like, what a team, honestly. Like, even if you remove Ronaldo from this team, this team is good enough to win the World Cup. But it all starts in the group stages. Let's try and top this group. Here we go. First game against Corner. I don't want any mishaps. I want to get the dub. That's what we want. No Ronaldo goal, though, which I'm sure I'll be frustrated about. But we've got the three points. Let's do the same thing against Uruguay and, and get the dub. It's a two-all draw. But that's fine. We should still be in first spot. Final game against South Korea. We need to win this so we can top the group. And it's only a draw. This is a problem, but we've still managed to top our group because Uruguay took an L. Ah, that, that's a relief. We've topped our group in the group stages, but doesn't give me confidence that we can win the World Cup. Anyways, in the round of 16, we've got Serbia. Let's see if we can knock Serbia out. They've got a good team, but we've got Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, he hasn't scored a single goal at this World Cup, but regardless, off we go to the quarterfinals, where we'll be up against Germany. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm, yeah, not ready for this. I really am not. Bro, it's mad how Thomas Muller is still playing for Germany. It feels like it's been two decades and he's still been playing for Germany. Anyways, let's hopefully knock them out of the World Cup. Let's go! Cristiano Ronaldo gets the goal. He gets a brace in a big game like this. Fair play. Bro, I might need to book my tickets to watch Ronaldo at the World Cup because what is happening here? We beat France in the semis and I think Ronaldo's going to win the World Cup. This game might be impossible to win because France are just so much better than anyone else. But let's see what happens. No way have Portugal beat them as well. They might be the first country we win the World Cup with in today's video. Because look at this. It's a Switzerland-Portugal final. Bro, I, I might just get ready with my tickets. All we need to do now is beat Switzerland in a World Cup final, which, come on, Ronaldo, you gotta do it. And it's done. It took until penalties, but we've won the World Cup with Portugal, and a Messi fan like me is gonna have to go all the way to Qatar to watch Ronaldo. What even? So it's done. The first country I've won the World Cup with is Portugal. It's time to get on the way. Look at this, boys. Managed to secure tickets for Portugal. Ghana Stadium 9. 974 in Qatar. I'm ready. Good thing is, I was already in Qatar while recording this video. We only had to extend our stay to get to watch Portugal play. So yeah, we got ourselves a new hotel very quickly, which by the way, had like insane views. And now we're ready to watch Cristiano Ronaldo up against Kana. This game was being played at the Stadium 974, which is probably the weirdest stadium I've ever seen. It's literally made of containers. I don't even know how they've done that. They've legit made a portable stadium. But yeah, once we were there, the hype was building up. And soon we saw Cristiano Ronaldo on the pitch. You guys know I'm a Messi fan, but even I was super excited for this. And then he actually scored. But the ref didn't give it because I think he pushed someone in the process. 
but soon after the referee gave a penalty now let me know in the comments if you guys think ronaldo died from the stadium i couldn't make it out whether it was a dive or not but then it was the moment i think i've traveled all the way here for to see ronaldo drop a shoe chant but can he score Yes, boys, it was meant to be. Portugal won the World Cup in FIFA for us. We watched them to see Cristiano Ronaldo drop a shoe. After that, Connor did equalize. But then Bruno Fernandes just unlocked the Kane in defense and killed the game off. Portugal ended up winning 3-2. And with that, my experience of watching Portugal and Cristiano Ronaldo as a Messi fan, I mean, I would have loved seeing Kane win. But you know what? Fair play. Ronaldo, unreal. And well, because of this video, I got to watch him live.